Today is January 10th, 2021, and we're going to be replacing the upper radiator hose of a 2009 Ford Fusion. So on this particular hose, this is broken, so we've got to replace the whole unit. We have to kind of we have to kind of clear some space. So we're going to start by removing the air filter housing. We'll set the air building filter housing set aside. And now we have access to the hose. There's a part that goes up into the throttle body back up in here that we're going to have to deal with as well. And it clips on right here. Right here on the throttle body. There are two major hose clips, one on each end of the, of the hose, uh, that you can remove with a pair of pliers. There's actually a tool you can get for this, too. One thing you have to be careful of is this piece is plastic. So what you want to do, this hose has been on there for a while, you want to slice away this hose. If you try to wrench that off there, you might likely break that manifold and that will be a problem. Loosen that up best you can all the way around before you try to take that hose off. Because of the way the clamp is on the radiator, the, the hose connected to the radiator, I'm gonna have to cut away the hose in order to get to it. So I got this part of the hose off. And this is the part that was broken. It, uh, it was leaking from right underneath it. See it? See right there? That's what happens to these quite often, is they start leaking right there and it has to be replaced. So we have to go up here and remove the clamp off the part of the hose that's connected to the 
throttle body. Earlier I used a pair of channel locks to remove a clamp off the, off the hose. I have a specialized tool for that. It's a, a about a know, foot and a half, two foot long cable with clamps on the ends. When you squeeze the handles, the clamps, this tightens up. It's got a little lock on it so it won't bounce back on you. This is made to get into small places, which is what I need because I've got small places. So we're going to put it to work and see how well it works. Squeeze the clamp. And it loosens that clamp up. And we can work the work the hose off the radiator. And we can go ahead and take the clamp off the old hose. Because we're going to be needing that. And then we can just gently release the clamp. And that's how that works. The right tool for every job. Got into a little tight space right here, and we're gonna looks like it has moved that clamp off. Let me get a wedge in here to move this hose off. We move that clamp down. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got the old hose off. We're going to reutilize the clamps because they're still good. Um, we'll put the new hose on and I use I know some people like to run their finger on their dipstick and get some oil and put down in there to help facilitate the application of the hose but I use something called Taylor lubricant and Taylor lubricant is a type of lubricant that's used for the seals of uh, by restaurants like for the seals like milkshake machines and stuff like that it's um non uh, petroleum based so uh, and it lasts forever so uh, I just take my finger and spit out spread out a little bit and run it around the inside and put, them in, put the hoses on And as you can see, I've got the clamp on with the clamp tool. Clean off a little spout where it goes.
There we go. That hose is on and we release the tool, the clamp tool. Make sure the clamp's where it's supposed to be. Walk it up toward the end of the hose a little bit. And I position these clamp, uh, I don't know what you call them, where you can grab the clamps, in a position where I can actually manipulate them with a pair of channel locks if I need to, which looks like I need to because it looks like this hose is not on there far enough. Let me re-grab this clamp. I don't think it's on there far enough, is it? It doesn't look like it is. Okay. Re-grab this clamp here real quick. Yeah, it looks like as far as it's gonna go. Good. Now we'll put the other clamp on. That clamp tool is adjustable uh, to the degree that the jaw, you know, to the tightness of the jaws. Um, and I may have to readjust it a bit to get it to come out to where I need it. Uh, this was my first experience using that clamp tool, so I'm sure uh, it won't be my last. So I'll need to learn to use it a little bit better. But, for the most part, it worked out real well. I got into where I needed it to get. I don't think I would have been able to do this as easily without it. Um, because the, uh... That one going to the throttle body was up in there. I just could not get it. So... But we can still take... That's why I put these over here, so we can still take the... Channel locks and... Walk that clip... That clamp on down there. Just be careful, don't break that plastic manifold. Well, you'd be replacing a whole lot more than a hose. The uh, place where it goes in on the radiator is plastic too. If you break that off, you'd be replacing a radiator. All right. So that's how you replace a top radiator hose on a 2009 Ford Fusion. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.